Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and I'm back with another video that we've created for the new Boston. Now, in this exception handling video, we're going to look at throwing more than one, or catching rather, sorry, more than one exception that might be thrown. So we're throwing more than one exception and we're catching more than one exception. And we're going to give these exceptions our own name. So I'm going to use an example of connecting to a MySQL database. You probably already know that to connect to a MySQL database, you use MySQL Connect. You then specify the server name, the host, the host name, sorry, yeah, the server name, the username, and then the password. And then we're also going to incorporate this um, select database function, MySQL select database, in which we just specify the database. So the first thing I'm going to do is create uh, some of our variables that we're going to be using within these functions just to keep the code clean and easily modifiable. So the MySQL server, in my case, is localhost. The MySQL user, uh, I'm going to say host actually, it's a bit easier. So host is um, localhost, the user is root and the password in my case is unspecified. I don't actually have a password uh, linked to this root account. So now I can specify the database, so MySQL DB, and that is equal to A underscore database. This database does exist within my table. So when I use um, the, when I test out these uh, exception handling handlers, I'm gonna change root to Alex so we don't connect properly to our server. And then for database, I'm just going to append a one on the end, just so uh, that gives us an error about our database as well. So how do we go about redefining um, or renaming these exceptions? Now, we do this by ex creating an extension of a class that already exists, and the class is exception. So what we need to do is we need to create a new class. We need to say class and give it a class name. So for the database, the database um, exception, I'm going to call it database exception with just uh, a capital D and a capital E. And this is going to extend, so we use the extend keyword exception. And then we just put two um, brackets there. We don't need to specify anything in, in here at all. So what we're doing is we're taking exception and we're extending this into our own class called database exception. So we're basically taking everything from exception and using that in our own class called database exception. And I'm going to copy and paste this code down. In fact, we'll write it out again. So I'm going to say class uh, server exception. And that's also going to extend exception. And then we just do two. Um, curly brackets there so I'll put this one at the top because we're going to be connecting our database first then we're going to be uh, our server first then we're going to uh, select our database so let's set up our try and catch block but this time we can add another catch on the end so we've got two catches in our try and catch so um, what do we put inside each of these well we just say exception uh, no we don't, we say catch server extension and we'll call this EX and then we um, exception and then we say catch database exception EX as well and in here we can echo out error messages specific to each exception thrown so what we can now do with this server exception and data exception database exception is we can throw these inside our block so the first thing to do is set up an if statement. We're going to say if um, we can't connect and we're going to silence this so we're not going to give any um, errors out from MySQL by default. So MySQL connect and we put in our MySQL host, our MySQL user and our MySQL password. If it doesn't connect, so if we're not connecting, remember we're silencing this we are going to throw new server exception and then we're going to specify um, an error message so I'm going to just say um, could not 
connect to server. Now we can say else if, and we can say not, and we, again we're silencing this, MySQL um, select DB, and again we're selecting, uh, we're connecting to MySQL DB, which we've already specified up here. And if that returns true, so if, if it's not, um, if we can't connect, then this will return true. We need to throw a new database exception. Okay, so remember we've got, we're catching our server extension and database exception. And for that, we're going to specify the message. Um, in fact, we could probably, yeah, we'll say could not connect to database or could not select database okay so now what we've done is we've created two um, or an if else if statement and we have said if we can't connect to MySQL so if we can't connect to our server using our credentials up here and here then we want to throw a new server exception which we've already predefined by extending our exception class to this that we've named ourselves and we've done exactly the same with database exception we've extended this class and we're now dealing with a name class called database exception that we've called ourselves. so we're doing exactly the same thing we're saying if we can't connect to that then throw a database exception now we can set up each catch and what we want to do for each catch so if we can't connect to our server, for now we're just going to print out a, an error message. Obviously you could do whatever you wanted to in here, but I'm just going to demonstrate this with an error. So I'm going to append on the ex variable that we've created from this um, class. And from that we're going to um, specify the function get message, which will get the message that we specified when we threw the exception. Now what we can do is do the, exactly the same for our database exception. We can say error and then ex get message. So this means we're now we've now thrown two different exceptions, and we have two different actions for each exception thrown. So you can now see how this can can actually be useful in everyday applications. So let's uh, first of all connect um, to our database. We'll say else echo connected. Um, so let's come into our page and refresh. Now the credentials are fine, so uh, we've been connected. Now let's play around with changing them. So let's change uh, root to Alex. And what this should do is um, we should throw a new server exception and we should have the error message could not connect to server. So let's refresh, error could not connect to server. So that's successful. We've uh, successfully thrown this error. Okay, so let's change that back to root, and now let's say a database one. So we've appended a one on this database doesn't exist. So now let's refresh, and you can see what we've got an error saying could not select database. So what we've done in this tutorial is we've extended um, uh, the exception class to two classes of our own. So we're using uh, parts of this exception class for ourselves, and by doing this, what we've done by defining them here what we've done is we've been able to throw two different exceptions by naming the classes ourselves we've created a custom name for our exception so we've duplicated this exception class essentially that's what we've done um, we've connected to our database which you should know how to do and you should now know this works so if we don't connect we throw a new exception otherwise if we don't connect to our database we throw a new exception as well Otherwise, we say that we're connected successfully, and we've got our catch blocks down here, which give out an error, just as an example. But otherwise, you could uh, choose to take an action um, depending on which uh, exception has been thrown. So take this, play around with it, see what you can do with it, and see how you can apply it to your own applications.